performing a manual inventory reconciliation for low volume item stock can be broken down into five straightforward steps. All functions can be found on the transactions menu and the physical inventory submenu. Step one is to print the physical inventory worksheet. This report lists the items for counting at a specific location. You can print all the items in the system or just those that have been allowed at the location. Select and sort items for the report based on the item number, pick sequence, or other item information. Inactive items or those with no recorded stock on hand can be optionally suppressed. An important part of this process is to create an inventory work file which is required for the entry process. If the location work file is not empty from the previous count, a warning will indicate it will be replaced if you continue. Print the report for the first location and continue on with remaining locations if a range was selected. To print this report multiple times for separate locations or for different groups of items, take advantage of the favorite reports to save the varying settings and report sets to generate all of these reports. Step 2 is to perform the actual count. Step 3 is to enter this count using the Enter Edit Physical Inventory process. Entry is done for one location at a time and choosing the location will load the work file generated by the worksheet. This screen lists the items sorted either by item code or by picking sequence and multiple people can enter stock count simultaneously to speed up the overall entry time. Edit an item to enter the count. The physical quantity value defaults to the quantity on hand amount so you only have to type values that change. After saving an item count, you can open the next item in the grid immediately by enabling an option in user preferences called Auto Edit Physical Inventory. Simply press the Enter key to save the quantity unchanged or type in the new quantity and press the Enter key for quick and efficient entry. If the item supports alternate units of measure, the physical quantity can be entered in any combination of the unit fields. Also, override the unit cost if a stock count change is for specific items with a different cost. The On Hold option will skip posting this item if a quantity changed was saved, in case verification is necessary prior to posting. Items that have been edited will display Yes in the Entered column to indicate that you have visited the item, whether or not the quantity changed. Step 4 is to print the entered counts from Print Inventory Reconciliation and ensure the information is correct prior to posting. Choose to print all items or just those with quantity changes. The Summary option suppresses alternate units of measure. Print the report and all items with changes will have variance values whether you print just the changed items or all items with entered stock counts. Step 5 is to post the changes from Post Inventory Reconciliation and update the item quantities on hand from the selected location. Posting only looks at items with yes as the entered value so it is possible to enter the counts for some items and post and then continue the count entry for another group of items. Posted item counts are purged from the entry list to prevent duplication. Items with quantity changes have adjustment entries created for transaction history and the adjustment audit list is also updated with quantity and cost details. Input your physical inventory to update the quantity on hand easily for just the items that require changes. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these on-screen links or from the video description. Thanks for watching.